Good morning, Bloom Trojans. This is a Thursday show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Singing, Dancing with the Stars. I'm your host, Nalia Moore. On activities, we have Alani Emery, and on sports, we have Thalia Mackey. It is Thursday, November 2nd, 2017, and you're watching Bloom Singing. Now for our top story, the month of November is College Awareness Month. If you have any college gear, you are encouraged to wear it on Wednesdays. Be on the lookout for your favorite teachers or staff in their college gear and start some conversations with them about what college they went to. There will be daily announcements highlighting various schools. If there is one you would like to hear mentioned, notify a member of the counseling team. We also encourage you to spend some time doing some research on colleges this month. If you have any questions on how to start the process, please see your counselor. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test will be held on Thursday, November 16, 2017 at 9 a.m. at the Little Theater. Interested students may sign up with Ms. Bestie in the library, L.C. Henderson Shaw in the ROTC classroom, 226 or with Mr. Gladstone in 138. Mark your calendar now and save the date for the upcoming blood drive. That blood drive will take place on Tuesday, November 21st. You can register online at heartlandbc.org. Who can donate? The donor must be in good health and feeling well. At least 17 years of age, 16-year-olds are eligible provided they have, writ have written approval from a parent or guardian. Donors must weigh 110 pounds or more. It is recommended to eat something within the four hours prior to the donation. Fever, persistent cough, sore throat, or chest congestion, congestion disqualifies a donor. It must be eight weeks between regular whole blood donations. Waiting period must be 16 weeks after a double red cell apheresis, seven days after a platelet apheresis. Donors taking medication may be deferred from donating due to their underlying medical condition. Check with the Heartland staff for acceptability. Travel to certain parts of the world may be cause for deferral. Check with the Heartland staff to determine eligibility. Give the gift of life. That's it for announcements. Let's go to Milani with your activities. Thanks, Nalia. The Afro-American Club will hold a meeting today, Thursday, November 2nd in room 302 from 245 to 445. All interested students are invited to attend. If you are in sports or other clubs, great. You are still welcome to join. See Mr. Brown in room 302 or Mrs. Spinner in 326 for details. Come out, listen, and be heard. There will be a meeting of the Latino Club today, Thursday, November 2nd after school in room 147. The freshman and sophomore class are accepting donations for the holiday food drive. Please take all non-perishable items to your classroom starting November 1st through the 17th. The class with the most donations will receive a class prize. Items will be donated to Alicia's House Food Pantry. Questions, see Mrs. Gonzalez in Office 134 or Ms. Lagunas in Room 349. Please help those in need this holiday season. It's that time of year again. The Ladies in Progress fourth annual sock drive has begin, begun. The Ladies in Progress will begin collecting socks to present to a local shelter or nursing home. We went to collect 500 pairs of socks. Can be any size, color for children as well as adults. Ladies in Progress collects the whole month of November. Which class will be this year's star? The Scholastic Bowl team heads to the next competition on Wednesday, November 8th at Rich East. Once again, this is an early release. You may w wait in the library or get back to school before we leave. We will leave promptly at 3.30. Are you ready for a world or pure imagination? Bloom Drama proudly presents Waldo's Willy Wonka this weekend in Workman Auditorium. Showtimes are Thursday at 7 p.m., Friday at 7 p.m., and Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. The tickets are $6 for adults and $5 for students and seniors. Citizens, that is it for activities. Now let's take it to Thalia with sports. Thanks, Milani. Have you heard of the PE leadership class? Once again, students in PE leadership compete in their Dancing with the Stars comp competition. Let's check it out. I'm Kyle English, I'm part of the Junior Leadership Program and we're doing Time of Our Lives by Pitbull. Uh, my name is Brian Martinez and uh, I'm in uh, Junior uh, Leadership and the our song is Lazy Song by Bruno Mars. Okay, how do y'all feel about winning? Like, we 
We feel great. Amazing. The work pays Incredible. off. Incredible. The team, no, teamwork. No. It was funny because we just did everything randomly. Just put yeah, it in. we just put it together. We all worked together, contributed to the same, and stick with it. They had no stage fright. Yeah. Just don't know <laughs> it was definitely entertaining. Boys and girls basketball starts in two weeks. The girls will begin their season at Reach South in the Galaxy Tournament. The boys will start here at home for their blue, blue and gold game. PE makeup dates are being held Tuesday through Thursday during school after school tutoring. All PE students are welcome to make up points from an excused absence or non-dress. See Ms. Plemons or your PE teacher for more details. Let's take it back to Nalia. That's Bloom Scene. Check us out online. Teachers, email your announcements to Mr. Cook. We will see you here again. Let's take it back to New... New <laughs>